Tell me how to do the work. Eat a burger. You want, eat a burger. Put it to, you ate, put it to uh, rest. Do it. So now we know. Daddy's at the law firm until eight hours, and Davey's watching XXX down in the fucking basement. Get that out of my face. Will you punch a burger? I'm going to throw it. Did you go to therapy? Yes. Yeah, we changed it. We're back up. Come on, Dude, you, you, got, you, got a lot, you got a lot of Bobby Knight in you. You got a lot of <laughs> Bobby Knight in you. We've seen him <laughs> two places. All right, Wednesday, April 3rd, Healthy Debate, uh, brought to you by Dave and Busters. Last year, there were 35 personal fouls in the championship game. So this year, we're going to foul, F-O-W-L, for foul, F-O-U-L. Uh, with every foul, we're enjoying a chicken wing from Dave and Busters. And with all-you-can-eat chicken wings and an a $10 power card starting at $22.99 every Monday and Thursday after 4 p.m. for the duration of the tournament. You can go to foul for foul two terms and conditions apply. And don't forget throughout the tournament, we're washing away your sorrows with $2 beers and $5 shots. Price and participation may vary every Monday and Thursday throughout the tournament. Dave and Buster's is celebrating with all you can eat wings and a $10 power card starting at $22.99 terms and conditions uh, apply. Thank you to Dave and Buster. Jetski, you want to run that again? Good? Yeah, uh, run it back. All right, perfect. Time. Dave and Buster's. Last year, there were 35 personal fouls in the championship game. So this year, we're going to foul, F O W L, for foul. F O W L means chicken, for those of you at home. With every foul, we're enjoying a chicken wing from Dave and Buster's, and all you can eat chicken wings and a $10 power card starting at $22.99 every Monday and Thursday after 4 p.m. for the duration of the tournament. You can go foul, F O W L, for foul two. Terms and conditions apply. And don't forget, throughout the tournament, washing away your sorrows with $2 beers and $5 shots. Price and participation may vary. Every Monday and Thursday throughout the tournament, Dave and Buster's is celebrating with all-you-can-eat wings and a $10 power card starting at $22.99. Terms and conditions apply. So there you go. Check out Dave and Buster's. Uh, we'll probably be there Monday. Yeah, Jetski. I think this is a good doing time to some, announce it. Yeah, doing some stuff Monday as well, some different games. Different than what Jerry was doing. I got one game I want to set the record on over and over again. Um, answering some questions. We'll be out in Scottsdale taking care of that. But we're also going to be doing a live show. Yes, live so debates debate. while we're going at it. So I'll give you one hint. I'll give you one hint of the game I like. Think. Are you going to be nice at it, though? I'm usually really, really good at it. Yeah, I, I won the gold medal in the Olympics uh, last year here. You can't take the or baseline two years ago. in pop a shot. I know you, yeah. you're good at that, but <laughs> yeah. you can't take the baseline there. Yeah, exactly. Uh, all right, so let's go through a couple of different headlines. I think obviously the big one was – uh, Diggs getting traded. We'll touch on that quick. Yep. I'm not saying that the Bills window is closed. I'm saying it's closing. And I think that happens every day that Mahomes is alive. So we'll see. I also said in three or four years, if the Bills stay where they're at and don't get to an AFC championship game or don't get to a Super Bowl, you can make a case. Again, you don't trade franchise quarterbacks, but you can make a case to start looking at those trades and taking the phone calls because you would get a hole. Yeah. Now, there's a lot of quarter teams that would, would kill for Josh Allen, like literally, Jets and Giants included. Well, maybe that's what the Jets with Rodgers. But after long term, you would want him after a yeah, year. For no, sure. I think you'd still kill for, jo for yeah, Josh Yeah, exactly. Allen. 100%. But in three or four years, like, you at least take those phone calls. You don't tell people you're leaking it to the press, but you'd be like, all right, like, what are you offering? Because he's still going to be really, really good. And the AFC is log jammed. So we'll see. We'll see how the Bills – I think the window's closing. I don't think it's closed – but it's we'll see. A, it's an insane overreaction from people today. Agreed. Diggs, I overreacted big, too. Agreed. He's not a big part of their offense. And they but you agree out. that the window is closing day by day? I probably expect them to make the playoffs next year and lose to Mahomes. Exactly. So that's where it's at. You think the more interesting at. aspect of this is Texans just are continuing to load Texans the fuck up? Texans are really, really, really good spot. I think people want to go there. Isn't that that income tax thing too? Yeah, Texas. Like, uh, yeah, Houston's Texas. a good spot to want to land. If you want to like, evade taxes. Yes. <laughs> No, we're not, you're not evading it. There's just no state income tax. No state income tax. That's nice. That's real nice. It's 8% yeah, ours New York is going last time I checked. Subways that are just open and don't close. I heard about this. Give me, give me a little bit of that. So there's new, not every subway. But I think there might be a couple that are being rolled out now. Instead of having the individual subway carts closed off, okay. it's just fucking open. And I'm sure there's some mechanism that, like, in case of emergency, they can press to, to shut. But now the subway is just one long fucking tube, which... I can't imagine when we're hearing right. all these stories of girls getting punched in New York City and people getting attacked on the subway. We want to make it easier for people to uh, commit crimes and evade. So you're saying to get in on the actual subway or to get into the subway? I'll show you a, a, yeah. an example. I can pull some. Hold on one second. So there's body scanners that you're going to have to go in to also? 
Yeah, but who's manning those? Because there's nobody down in the subway anyway. You just hop the thing and nobody says a there's word. There's a couple on my line. I actually see cops in the subway. So this really? is a 12-year-old yeah. skateboarder I follow, but <laughs> he had a, a reel that he posted. Um, maybe he deleted it. Oh, I can't. Uh, I don't know deleted where it is now, it? but he posted a video on the subway, and he was just his kid, K.O. Martin. He's fire. He's a six skater. Um, he just posted a video of him like walking through like seven subway cars. Jesus Christ. So I don't know what the what design is. I'm sure it's like some type of energy efficient thing, but it doesn't seem like it's a good idea. Yeah. Um, final four. We'll touch on this real quick. Uh, I think I'm gonna lay it with Purdue. And I'm obviously going to bet Bama. I think those points are too high, but I'm feeling really, really confident that Purdue is just out there kicking ass and taking names. Um, Have you had any word if there's going to be issues with uh, uh, who you're supporting throughout the weekend uh, being around Dave? Uh, yeah, everybody keeps being like, you're going to jump to you. I'm not jumping to UConn if we lose. I can tell you that for a fact. But, uh, no, I think – I don't know. I don't know what he wants because I'm going to be rooting hard for Iowa women too. you got to forget that we got a women's Final Four Yeah. as well. So – no, I don't know. I think he knows he's in a good spot. If he loses, he's kind of like – he's just – I don't think he wants to be in the Terra Dome or was expecting Bama to be there and me sitting next to him. He thought the whole crew – I also found out Austin is a diehard UConn fan. Did he go there? Yeah. Yeah, he went there. Makes sense. So we got – I'm in the just complete dome. Complete dome of terror. Yeah, you guys are going to lose by 50. <laughs> 50? 50. 50? 50. Okay. And I was with you. I bet Alabama I think if we shoot 38% moment. from three, we're going to take we, – to make 20, we're going to shoot yeah. 60. So let's just let's just fire away. Yeah. Awesome. Turn it into an NBA No, game. no. I mean, we, do you want to talk like – we could talk hypotheticals yeah. too. Dreams and nightmares. Yeah. We could talk all this. <laughs> go ahead. Also, Bosco, I can uh, – just trying to go on a 30 to 0. No, don't have a yeah. Don't just don't give up thirty. Yeah. I agree. Call timeouts. Don't give up a thirty. I think I think cover is a win. Yeah, like a more like if NATO gets embarrassed, long night for you. Yeah, I think you should just cover. Just cover. We Agreed. have those hats in the store. Agreed. Check them out. Uh, give me a call, and we'll go to the next headline. Got Nikki it? C. <laughs> right off the get go. Well, what's up, Bosco? What's, what's up? Wrong? What's wrong today? No, zero. You said off the get-go. What yeah, right off the get-go. The main call is right off the get-go. I love it. Yeah, let's go. And, and, and is Meek there? Yeah. Before he hangs up on me again? <laughs> yeah, hey, Phil's Meek, there. did you have a little there. more of a fucking trigger, man? I mean, Jesus. I mean, cut, cut, Nick, you see a little slack. I've been calling in for a couple months now. You know, I was about to get to my boy Jet Ski, give him a nice compliment. He's been kicking ass. What a beautiful story last week. You know, us Italians, sorry, Jetski, we like to, you know, Rico, us, you know, we like to interrupt sometimes, but yep. no, uh, no hard feelings taken, you know. Hope, hope, hope that was, uh, nope. all, that was all smooth. Year. That was all smooth sailing. Happy New Year to Nick. Good, good. But Meat Man, what, he's, I mean, he's fucking the video game trigger. <laughs> he's pressing, I mean, he's spamming X. He's, he's spamming resetting X. the game. That's years of practice. <laughs> but could you answer my question, Mets or White Sox? There's a chance the Mets have a worse record, Phil. It's very, it's right there, now, it's very chance. There's a chance I could die tomorrow morning. I mean. I don't know. You're, you're, we're, we're bad, man. Bad. Hey, Bosco, on uh, next Thursday, quick turnaround. Should I call in next week? Next th- what, Yeah, Wednesday? yeah, yeah. You'll know Wednesday. It's going to be a quick turnaround, but we'll get the word out to you Wednesday. Okay, perfect. Make sure yeah. somebody has your handle. Make sure somebody has your handle. Yeah, yeah, we got it. All right? Yeah, Dukes, he's got it. All right. Hey, last thing real quick. Please tell me fucking, you know, Jeff Nadu blocked me fucking months ago. I see big, you know, I'm scrolling Twitter today. I see big cat hashtag Nadu. Punch Master Dan. We don't fuck with Nadu, No, I right? think he was, in fairness, he was going, he's supporting Frank. Yeah. Frank but Frank. that's interesting because he's definitely gone after Frank himself. I can't so see him me. It's always he, what he, fits, he it, it's always what fits the narrative. I think Nadu got more more people blocked than Wasco healthy debate. Probably. Yeah, I mean, it's hey, how many people work in? Even, how many people work for airlines? Like, how many people work for airlines? Can you tell us? How he's many probably got every airline right blocked. We know he's got every airline blocked. Staff members can't fly. He doesn't want to see that. Got the IRS yeah. blocked. Keep going. Spirit. Um, he's got the IRS. I blocked. think females have him blocked, so then he returned and blocked them. Okay. You know, I'm gonna let you cook for a little bit. So keep going. Especially the ones he was hey, commenting cook. on his own blogs while he was here. You could look up those receipts. <laughs> uh. I also and got then, I don't know, DM. isn't he Amish? DM. Probably everybody with electricity. I guess if you block everybody with electricity, it's going to be a long <laughs> list. Lipa? 
Yeah, but, you know, whatever. Talking about him is the worst because then you just get the video. Yeah, I didn't mean to bring him up. I don't need to see the I top thought, of his forehead again. You left. I you still want to come back. Scared. You left. You want to come back. Should have done he it in two days back. like I did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, last one real quick. What's your favorite two soups? Mine are, mine's chicken noodle and minestrone. Oh, <laughs> so I've been on a big What's chicken minestrone? noodle. Uh, I don't yeah, know. Minestrone is like a red one. I've been on a big chicken Minestrone, noodle kick. You know, Italian vegetable soup. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been on a big chicken noodle soup kick with tortellini. Chicken noodle with tortellini Ooh. instead of the regular noodles. That's good. Lights out. And then uh, pasta vizul is now. Although lobster bisque is always, like I'm getting Lo- lobster bisque lobster every time. Bisque. And a good clam chowder is up there yeah. as well. So I'll give you the Mount Rushmore. Those two, non-debatable, are like my real top two. And then real quick, uh, pasta vizul, the, right, the, uh, the top tier pasta vizul. Is just fucking Italian wedding soup is really good. Yeah, pasta vizul is fucking oh, out of control. Of How do we feel about miso soup? Right. Mm, I haven't Thanks, had it. Fellas. Do you know what it is though? Yeah, I think so. It's the Jewish one, right? <laughs> no, 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 that's matzo ball. <laughs> that's matzo ball soup. Okay, miso you learn something is, new every is day. Japanese. You get it at sushi places, but it's like just the broth and like a piece of tofu. Sometimes it's appetizing. Uh, sometimes nah, it I'm, like out dirty t- I'm out on the. I'm out on the. Speaking tofu. of Jewish soups, where's our good friend? Irvin? We, uh, Irvin is We is had MIA. Irvin's brother, uh, what was his name? I don't remember. Irvin, I don't know. G, it was something with the G, but Irvin's brother I think brother Irvin tapped him. out like too quick. I think Irvin gave, tapped Irvin, out after week two. He was, Irvin came in and gave 100 on the gas. And yeah, then he was, he was he blacked a, out. He could have had a weekly spot. He, he was throwing been. 100 and yeah, then he blacked out. blew his arm out. He blacked out. Uh, Chauncey Billups and Vince Carter in the Hall of Fame. Yes. Non-debatable for that Non-debatable one. for sure. Non-debatable. Um, I wrote the 25 quotes for... Uh, did you put it in the blog? Ten things I hate about you. Yeah. So you could do like the you could do like the top five. I kind of gave away one and two. Seem to get a positive. You gotta response. send me your blogs. Uh, Seem to get a positive one. response. Uh, okay. All right. So we got. You want to do? I would do top, top five. five from five Just to one. Just do okay, top got five. It, got it, got it. I think it's like 4,000 words, this blog. Now, a lot of it was the quotes, but okay. who's counting? Do you want to read them? Do you want to reenact them? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, sweet, yeah. Sweet love, renew thy force. And then uh, Patrick goes, hey, don't say shit, to, shit like that to me. People can hear you. I have used that one in the past. Um, I laugh at this one every time when he comes out and he's got the dick on his face. I'm back in the game, which that we touched on, non-debatable. Uh who knocked up your sister? And what's with this chick? She have beer flavored nipples. So Patrick has one, two, three of the five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Heath Ledger's throwing like a hundred in this movie. R.I.P. to the goat. Yeah. I also think the dad had a lot of quotes that I didn't realize that the dad was going to be throwing a hundo in this movie. So um, all timer. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Twenty five years old, still holds up to this day. Go check it out. Ten things I hate about you. Uh, let's see this Taiwan. The earthquake, earthquake video. Okay. And then we'll go calls. So, John Rich blogged this. There was a 7.4 magnitude earthquake. Okay. Nine dead, thousand injured. Horrible. In Taiwan. Horrible, but there's video of it. I'll play it real quick. I'm going to lower the YouTube. Just blow anybody's ears out. Um, but it doesn't show, like, the like initial blast, but it just kind of shows the aftermath. Obviously, this building is not supposed to be, like, a replica of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So, that was completely shifted on its axis and it, although like not you, you say like oh nine dead i don't want to say like it, nine dead isn't a lot it is a lot but like it's thankful that yeah. 7.42 magnitude earthquake you would think an earthquake would be way more yeah for so, sure so very scary um there's no i don't think known fault lines in new york so we should be okay but uh california is obviously always at odds with the, with the horrible earthquakes. horrible yeah, just look at that it's like literally on its axis. crazy didn't completely collapse yeah though. that's i don't know how you get that back either the whole thing also in indonesia uh oh sorry not indonesia in japan right now in okinawa there are crazy uh receding waters so they're expecting there to be a tsunami i saw that last Jesus. night i don't know if there's any update in that but they saw they showed the beaches in uh, okinawa and Jesus the water is just Christ. like shooting back so there may be a tsunami at some point horrible. um fun uh, scientific fact a tsunami is an underwater earthquake so yeah horrible uh dudes let's see who transitions out of that one sure thing steve long island Rico, you got me? Yeah, what's up? I think also just Irving's brother's name, I think, is Gerard. Okay. Uh, oh, Gerald. Gerald. It was Gerald. 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 Oh, Gerald. Yeah, Gerald. Yeah. Uh, shout out, chat. Um, 
But one, one fun thing, jet ski, about those new subway cars, if one part of the train, like, breaks, like, say a door doesn't close all the way, the whole subway goes out of commission. So that's it. Oh, that's, that's great. Perfect. We love it. Love it. Like, and also, like, if, if there's, like, a crackhead in the first car, then, like, everyone's smoking crack in the sub, you know, like, in the, in the whole train. So, how do we um, – ah, whatever. That's too long of a question. I was going to say, how do we fix the city? I don't know. I like, think it's like a million of our tax back. dollars probably got dumped into that. So. Disaster. Rico, it's it's like a European kind of gangway subway car. It's uh, okay. I have them by me. Disaster. Uh, note from the so, chat: the, uh, the tsunami warning has been retracted, so everyone's good in Okinawa as of now. So thank God. Thank you, chat. Shout out, chat. Um, so I was walking on the train the other day, Rico, and I saw this I saw this dog taking a dump on the sidewalk. Okay. It wasn't on the mid- It wasn't in the middle of the sidewalk, but it wasn't like in the grass either. You know what I mean? So. The owner just doesn't pick it up. She doesn't even do, like, the fake, oh, I forgot a bag. She just walked away. And I just minded my own business, and I kept it moving. But I, I felt like saying something. Am I just as bad as that person that left the shit on the sidewalk? Healthy debate. Yeah, I think you got to call them out, but then it's going to get – I think get... you have to have a dog to call them out, though. Uh, yeah. I think that's fair enough. Well, no. You have to have a dog I disagree you to... because I, so. I don't want a dog. Like, I got enough responsibilities. I don't need a dog. So if you're going to have a dog, now I got to potentially step in dog shit because you're not cleaning it up. I just think it looks if better. If you want the dog, a dog engage in this process. The reason I didn't want a dog because I don't want to be walking them when it's freezing. I don't want to be cleaning up dog shit. Like, every, dogs are not for everybody. Like them, obviously, play with them. But at night, like, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Fair enough. I do think if you leave shit on the, on the sidewalk, you deserve to be publicly chastised, right. though, for sure. Yeah. So. Um, right, thanks, guys. No, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, all right, give me another one, Dukes. I didn't know about these subways. I'm trying to look for the pros of it. I, I don't know. I don't know. know either. Something we don't know. Something we voted on that we don't up. realize. Check like, the ballot. Like, I don't know if it's like because you don't want to be trapped in a subway car or like I feel like it's like also you could just like. And they're, they, they're debuting them as open gangway. Uh, this is from NBC New York. MTA debuts new open gangway sub- subway cars. Obviously, the gangway is like a boat term, but like it just sounds like there's going to be more crime. Like it is going to be the wh- like where the gang members are just running through and stabbing people. Like it's it's ridiculous. Um, let's see what it says. Oh, it's on the C line, and this is an article saying why you'll like them. You guys, I don't want to read an article over the air, so you guys maybe discuss while I get some intel. All right. Uh, maybe some other things that you would like to be, Yanni, to be opened New up York. completely. Yo, what's going on? What's Rico? up, gentlemen? How's it doing? All right, got a little healthy debate. All right, top three shows all time. I got Sopranos at one, Succession at two, Curb Your Enthusiasm at three. Yeah, I mean, it's all personal preference. Like, to me, it's Sopranos, Saved by the Bell, and uh, Entourage, because those are the most three enjoyable ones I've ever had. Now, is Breaking Bad a better show? Yes. Is Game of Thrones probably better? Yes. But it's three enjoyable. Like, which, you give me three they, boxes they, of DVDs on a stranded island. Bad. Entourage holds up. Entourage kills. I think South Park should, is, can you include animated? I think South Park has a, a, a name to be made I like for that. one of the top series of all time. And it's yeah, I like good. that call. 20 plus years, classic. And, uh, you know, they're still putting out some pretty decent stuff. Like, their last season, obviously, it's not quite the glory days, but they had moments in there for sure. Yeah. And they just give it to everybody, and they never hold back. So the yeah. wire, the wire, wire, I forgot. The wire is really good. One, yeah. But if you are, if you extrapolate that idea of being stuck on an island, like, do you want? I just want to watch what I want to watch. Like three serious shows, or what do you want? I want to watch what I want to watch. So yeah, no, you got to mix it up. I w- I would think comfort. I would want to watch what I want to watch. Oh, I think I because have... what's the other alternative? Three shows that you never watched before, but people say are good that you might not like. Like, I never watched Homeland, so now I get the box set of Homeland? What if I don't like Homeland? No, nah, I think nah, if you're on you an island, you want... You can't bring a show you've never watched to a... Well, I'm just island. saying, yeah, so... I think it's like something like... Like, in that case... I actually think that might Saturday be better. I think that might be better to bring three shows you never... Healthy debate. Is it better to bring three shows no, you've never watched? Well, after every, a month, think of it this way. It. You mark the fucking things on a tree, suck. and you well, treat it like suck. every week it's a new debut. And how far you could stretch that. That might keep you alive. Awful. You no. don't have anything awful to do idea. on this desert island. What if, you hate, gonna, what if you hate it all after episode one? You're idea. like, fuck. And no matter what, if you're watching, you're, wait if you're a stuck week, for you're the rest gonna, of your life, you're going to be like, you're going to know what the show is after month one. because you're gonna. How do you know a week has passed, too? Do you have like a watch? With, like, how do you know that on this One of the worst island? ideas that you've had on the show. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> no. 
I think undeniably that's, like that's, that's pretty like true. a woke idea. I don't your, think your so. brain your brain your light bulb went off. There's not, nothing was there. I don't think so. You, if you, what if you just didn't like dragons? You had to watch Game of Thrones. All right, also, how like, can you not like dragons though. No, I, but you're gonna learn to like it. You're gonna learn to like anything though. Yeah, that's. Saying. That's you not, can, you can mean, say that about anything. You already life. know the shit that's going to happen if you brought your three favorite. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think that gives you, you like something to. Happen. Guess what? You would be obsessed with that show, even if you didn't like it. You would be like, "This is fucking great" because it's the only thing I can watch. I think it's. I think it's like if you do the that's island thing, true. it's got to be like a sitcom. It's got to be like The Office. It's got to be Seinfeld. It's got to be no, like South Park. You need a mix. You need something that has. I think Saturday Night Live because it's like fifty seasons. Yes, that that could be good. No. But you need something funny. You need something suspenseful. But that's like more current events. Like, the current events of SNL are what make it funny. So it's like Dude, I think that 30, makes an argument. Like, you could relive the 60s. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't know. We'll, we'll, by we'll chew on that. I was hoping somebody would walk by. We'll chew on that. That's not I a bad love, one. All right. I, love, I, love, I got, I, I I got one more. Sure. I got one and a half more things right now for you, Rico. All right. Trading Josh Allen, that idea earlier, any GM that trades him would get fired within the next year. Listen, year. listen, listen. listen. I'm idea. just saying you start looking. You start taking the phone calls or you start making the phone calls in four years if they don't go anywhere where they were. And you at least just say, hey, if you leak this, you're dead. But, like, what would What's it be? What's the point of taking the phone calls if you don't want to make the deal, though? It's, it's literally just a PR, like a potential PR. Yeah. I'm just, around your, I just think you could get a hole up. for him. It he would be time up. to rebuild. Sometimes a guy can't win, you know, where he's at, and he still has some left in the tank. Like, go look at Stafford. He's got a lot left Rogers. in the tank. He's young. He led the league in tutties last yeah, year. Yeah, that's why I said three three or four years is when I would start looking. That's it. But then that's just giving up on the whole franchise. I, I think but if you never GM won anything, the money, it's the val- the asset is the asset is, is just going to expire on you. I don't know. It's, yeah. you got to milk the asset while you have it, though. You can't just get rid of it and have them, have them win elsewhere. Right. Be it, well, have, you would milk it. That's my point. You would milk it for a haul. You would milk it for a hole. Well, there you go. I, I, just, hole I of think it would be better for the Bills if Josh Allen was a loser his whole career with them. Got it. And if they got mm-hmm. whatever picks and let him move anyway. Yeah, it makes sense. I agree. I don't think they're trading him. Right. It's just – it was a hypothetical on a rainy Wednesday. That in three I or four you. years, at least, at least look. That's all. You at least look. That's all right. it. Hey, all right. So I to take – I got one no, last you're good. one. Last go ahead. I called in. I had a little idea. I thought about it. I've got another idea here. So what about the name could – I'm open to suggestions on the name here, but a college basketball podcast with Miss Peaches. I'm thinking either Bark Mob or Old and New like <laughs> new Pop, something along those lines. What about the Peach Jam? What if we, we'll get cease and desisted, but we just did the Peach Jam? I mean, look at this mind of yours at work, a beautiful mind. Miss Peaches goes Miss, – maybe Miss Peaches goes to the Peach Jam. What about, That's how I finally get to the Peach you, Jam. Do you think she would ride with Bama or UConn? Well, the Peach Jam is high school prospects, so I think she would be confused. What but, about uh, obedience trading with you, Jerry, and Miss Peaches, I mean, and see who performs the best? I think maybe Miss Peaches <laughs> would. Or you and you and Jerry standing on either side of Miss Peaches, see which one she walks to, which dog. Oh, uh, it'd be prefers. Jerry. It would be Jerry immediately. Jerry's a dog guy. No, they can gotta... sense the dog, the smell of the dogs. He's probably still got uh, pit bull cum on his leg somewhere. <laughs> He does. Jerry still does. They probably still he still smells it. You know what I mean? He'll tell you that. So uh, I, they wouldn't. You know, I got no dog scent. I don't think they'd go to me. You, I don't know. You got to have like a piece of meat, hut, like hidden yeah, in your pocket. Hidden in your in your pocket. You that works. That, that works. You can't lose that battle to the new pub. All right, I'll let you guys go. Have a good one. Before we go to the next one, I did some uh, digging on the. Subway thing. So I said as a joke, it was probably a billion of our tax dollars. It's $2.5 billion it cost. And okay. in this article, it lists the only benefit that they, the reason they did it is because it allows for free transfer from cart to cart. It's just more accessible. Got it. Which I don't think is a good thing. And if, like I think Duke said, if they have to make any repairs to a single car, anything goes wrong, the whole entire thing has to get shut, shut down. down. This, one, this one said it's easy... Officials hope the train will ease crowding and boarding, and also provide safety benefits. Got it. People are going to be sm- like it's going to be more people because they're just going to be smushed in that uh, little yeah. area. I'm sure they thought of everything. Disaster. They yeah, to. New York. Yeah, of I, course I, they did. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> you got a halftime? Uh, no, no halftime. All okay. right, so let's go straight through. Keep them going. How many you got? Uh, two. But I know someone's going to call in from Providence. Oh. Talking about hashtag the rumor. Yeah, I'm not if, fucking like I, they're in the weeds a lot here with it. Well, like, so, I think I think I think somebody. <laughs> Gary, 
should call in about the rumor. Yeah, I'm hearing. I'm hearing that. I mean, you, you can't just be. I mean, One of our part of my take was talking about probably PCBC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, but they they tried to say a coach wasn't on the website. It's, nobody's email is gonna be on that website. Dan, did Man Cheetah jump us and just go straight to Big Cat? I don't no, know. They just, they, Maybe they, they those just guys. Talk, they can't be. They, those yeah. guys are looking no, for they, the fame. The, they talked about whatever. They they like gas like. Bama really. St. John's next year, by the way, will be a RiderCon type of event. Get a lot of is Bama that at the Johnny's? I think it's at the John. Um, well, um, yeah, it will be. I don't know if it's at UBS or at the Garden. I got to talk to Nate about getting floor seats for that one. Or maybe I'll sit up with the in the Boons with the Maniacs. Do they have basketball games at UBS? Yeah. yeah. Who's played there? St. John's. Kansas, St. John's. Oh, shit. St. John's and Hofstra. Yeah, St. John's. Hofstra makes Moisty Turtle. Yo, Rico. What's up? Sorry if there's an echo, man. I'm using my, uh, my mom's car, but that... That kind of ties into my healthy debate. So healthy debate, taking a break from basketball this week, giving you a life uh, life problem, I guess. So my car went on the fritz on Monday. Engine, need a new engine, car's done Oof. for, it's like four or five years old. Hate to see it, definitely, but I knew it wasn't going to make it through the next winter. So we've been kind of thinking about getting a new car for me. For the I just got done with college. I used that car for college. So we're thinking about getting a new car. I'm in a bit of a... It's not an argument, but it's more of a debacle. He wants to get the same car as my sister, and I'll tell you which car it is at the end. Healthy debate. What is more important about a car, the color or the actual like, Actual car, actual car. And appearance. You don't want to be yeah, breaking down on first dates like I did, bro. Colors don't matter in a car. Two requirements for me. Right. I'm also not a car guy. Two requirements for me when I used to get a lease. Four doors, gas on the driver's side. Won't do anything else. It could be fucking polka dotted. They'd be like, there were times where they'd be like, I get to the lease place and be like, you want to drive this? I'm like, I already drove it. Like, sir, this came out like last week. How did you drive? Don't worry about it. I drove it. My mother's like, you didn't drive this car. I go, I don't need to. Pat, come in. I'm going to drive around Bay Ridge. Let's get Pat on real quick. Good call, Moisty Turtle. All right, real quick. Healthy yeah. debate. Yeah. You go to a stranded island. There's three shows that you want to watch, obviously. You'd bring, I don't need to know your shows. The healthy debate that was kicking around in my head, is it better to go there with three shows you've never seen before because you can then treat it like every week it's like a new episode no. and then you'll become obsessed no. with that show like even if you no, you no, don't no, think no, it's no, no. you want you want shows that you know are going to keep you entertained but there's but yes, you don't know how, you don't you know how long you're going to be there though that's the thing because if you're Forever. there with a sh if you get three shitty shows and then but the healthy debate those three shitty shows will become fucking the best shows ever because it's all you got or it'll make you want to blow your brains out which you might want to do anyway if you're already on the stranded island. Facts. I would go with like three shows that can it be movies or TV shows. TV shows. TV shows. Oh man, TV. I mean, you got to do like The Office, Sopranos, and then like. I had Sopranos. Oh, you could do by the, the Bell the, and uh, Entourage. The, the Simpsons. The Simpsons has like seven thousand yeah. seasons. It's in South Park. Duke's yeah. at Saturday Night Live. If you want to watch current events. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's not dude. true. It's just 50, it's 50 seasons. seasons. It's not a bad idea. All right. Healthy debate. I don't know. I think uh, if you can treat it like a new episode each week, yeah. might keep you alive. Give you a purpose. Uh, all right, give me the last one. Oh, we got some more. oh Moisty, you still on? Oh, he gets me on up. Yeah, no, I honestly, that's what. Your Rico, cars don't matter. Kind of what, You're not getting me in the weeds no. of cars mattering. No, 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 Rico. It's actually like this actually happened. I'm actually genuinely wondering your opinion. Like, I don't. I'm not talking yeah, about I don't. The, I, no, no, because I'm not asking for like your advice per se, but I'm just like genuinely wondering as a guy that's had a bunch of cars. Color not doesn't the, matter. Not the. Okay. Not it's got to run. No. You gotta, it's got to be so, able to so run. That, Let him get it out. Let him get no, it out. All right. Yeah, that's not what I'm – so the problem is is that my sister has the same car that we're looking to get, and my dad wants to get it in the same color. So that you would have the same the color car as your sister? I actually had this yeah. issue. I have no issue with that. Me and my sister both had uh, white Honda Civics. Who cares? And one yeah. was my, the reason we had is because my mom bought one and then my grandma was like, you know, ending her driving career and wanted just a safe car. So my grandma got the same one. Then my grandma couldn't drive anymore. So we just bought it from my grandma. Did that bother you? Um, not really, but it bothered my sisters because like the keys were the same and I would just take like the wrong car all the time. So my exactly. sisters got really pissed. Oh, okay. Yeah. I and can I see did that. get into accidents with both of them. That's, and like, <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. That's kind that's of kinda why I would like it's... having both. See, I would switch everything in them. Exactly. I would just switch them. But, no, I don't think it matters. You have the same color of car as your sister. Who cares? 
As long as you got a car, yeah, man. No. It's people taking the Appreciate bus. It. The yeah, bus. no, I'm thankful. I'm thankful. Yeah, it's sure. people taking See the you bus. Guys, have a good week. Appreciate it. Uh, Dukes, you no, the last fuck one. The bus. There's a couple more. A couple more? All right, load them up. Gerald? Oh. He heard us. <laughs> oh, my Atlantis, Rico. What's up? <laughs> Do you like conspiracies? Do I like what? Conspiracies. Yeah, they're not bad. Okay, I got one for you, buddy. <laughs> it's like me uh, when I call so Kirk. First off, going in and out. Okay, first off, I want to extend the invite. I'm like, you know where Nineveh, New York is? Yeah. No, look it up. Okay, I'm like 10 minutes from there. I'm not going to say where exactly I live, but I'm going to do a bar call on what I was talking about, the uh, dates. Okay. If you, the barstool ladies, and you guys want to come and hang out, hit me up. All right. But here, here's a good conspiracy for you guys. So you know NASA bought the uh, tombs, the rights to the tombs, right? Which tombs? The the Egyptian pyramids. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Okay. Right, they they actually bought the rights to the tombs, the the and stuff, all the stuff that's aligned with the stars. Okay. So they bought the rights to that, and they thought I was from Egypt, and they thought they were gonna steal my rights, but they ain't gonna get nothing. Okay. <laughs> all right. Don't you find that funny though? We yeah, were, that's good. We Jeff were talking Wilson. about the 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 stars and the the alignment of everything and. Yeah, it's kind of funny, man. It's a good one. It's a good one. All right, Gerald. <laughs> Try to keep All it right, together. Man. I, I love you guys. Have a good day. All right. Thanks. And uh, ho hope to see you guys soon. All huh? right. Thanks a lot. So I guess in the Old Testament, there was a story about Jonah and the mission to Nineveh. <laughs> okay. And I think Nineveh was named after Got that. It. So it's uh, All right. Irving and Gerald both. Live yeah, in both Nineveh. just all time characters. Uh, empty them out, Dukes. Man, Cheetah. What's up, boys? What's I want to talk about. Uh, the rumor. So I actually just saw Bryce and Rich Barron chopping up some recruits here. And uh, apparently he has no idea that it's a thing. Uh, we got Trilly put him on an unt untouchables list recently. And then uh, he also signed an NIL deal with PC. So I don't, I don't know. I think that it would be stupid of Patino to not offer anyone, like especially Bryce Hopkins, but I think it's just smoke. I think All right. everyone just offers everyone nowadays. Yeah, we're rooting for you guys to keep them. We don't want to see Zachy the Rat happy. Yeah, but apparently there's molds in your St. John's uh, system. I I know. I heard I, I heard dude, the St. John's chat is saying a lot of bad, a lot Pro of bad things about me. Providence people think you're the St. John's guy. I was like, do you guys read the paper? Yeah, check that out. You can't be in a message with a block somebody you blocked. So fact check that. <laughs> and I know Zachy the Rat is in that chat. Dude, what are you doing this weekend with Alabama UConn? Everyone keeps saying that, dude. I p picked UConn to beat St. John's. I'm Alabama. My number one guy is Oates. Alabama, Alabama, Alabama. Roll Tide. Dan, but Dan Hurley said uh, he doesn't like burners, too. Does that add to it? Uh, Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Hurley's a straight-up guy. Do you man. agree with that? We we dabbled in the burner community, yeah. No I mean, we, we've we've all cheetah cheetah. As somebody that's a Providence guy who stands with you guys in times of war, for a fan base that says they're not worried, you guys seem pretty worried. No, we're not worried at all. I don't. We don't even think Bryce knows about the rumor, and Trilly just shut it down officially. Okay, I mean, I don't think he's gonna leave. Yeah, but if he does, there will be another documentary. <laughs> okay, and we'll be there. We'll be there at his game, revenge we'll in all black. We'll be at St. John's. We'll be, yeah, we'll be there. Yeah, big news coming from the PCBC soon that you guys will know about too. All right, cool. we're, uh, Cheetah, we're I, need really to get, I love how they treat everything like the mafia. Yeah, will you PCBC. guys? Will you guys, guys give it? Will you guys probably give that one to Party My Takeover us? Yeah, yes, what you the guys, fuck? Yeah, you guys no, got, no, no. You guys forgetting your roots? We know everyone having a celebration. Start. Now nah, you gave us our start. We're loyal All guys. Right. <laughs> All right. Shout out to the Lumpy Dumper. I'll let him know. All right. <laughs> that's, that's stuff All right, we go. Fast. Of all the things we've done, that might be my favorite, like, community that we're in with. Uh, What's right. your name? Where are you from? Empty him out. Screening that one? 
Give he's me the, live. Give me the. He's oh, he's live. live? All right, yeah. give me him live. You're live. Oh, hey, Rico. What's um, up? Nice to talk to you. Fucking big win for Bama. Rooting for him. Appreciate it. Um, just got a quick question. What, in your opinion, I, I don't know if you've worked on a you know blue collar job set, but what does he go to? Music. I'm like in a techno mood right now. I think kind of like moving, dancing while you're working is great. But I also get the old heads with their classic rock. So yeah, I think uh, I think you you go up if it's one radio, you just go with what they want. Q104.3 is always a, a good one. If you're in New York, the classic rock, you'll always be able to sing along to something. Go with classic rock. Oh, for sure. All right. All right. Have a good weekend. Guys. All right. Appreciate it. Good week. Uh, all right, Jetsky, let's end it on this. Give me the, the breakdown of this. Uh, Manziel story? Manziel and, and, Jose, and uh, Josie can say Okay. Go. Give me so, that to end it. Some internet sleuths have pieced together that Johnny Manziel and Jose, Josie Canseco may be dating, which this might not seem alarming to a lot of you. <laughs> Duke just walked back in the room. With Josie, his Canseco, piss. Josie Canseco posted this on her Instagram. It's clearly Johnny Manziel's hand tattoos. If you scroll down, they compare. Okay. So at first glance, like if you don't really know, if you're like a lot of who Johnny's been around, it's right. not that big of a deal. But Johnny was very good friends with Mike Stud. Who okay. Goes by just Mike now, now just Mike. Everyone remembers Mike Stud in the college days. He actually makes like a different kind of style, almost country leaning rap now. But he, uh, for a while, in like 20, I'm going to say 18 to 2020, was dating Josie Canseco. And Johnny Menzel and Mike Stud did a podcast together. Got it. He was heavily involved in Johnny's comeback season's merch. And I'm not besmirching Johnny or whatever, but I feel like this could be maybe uh, some. T- maybe it's not an issue at all, but this seems uh, some kind of issue. No, that's to me. that's insane. I watched the Mike Stud doc, uh, the TV show. Yeah. On whatever that was on. Was she in it then? She was in it then. Yeah, I'll, you gotta I'll, give I your boy a heads up. I mean, they're Mike all around Stud. each other. I really fuck with this music now. They're all around each other. They're gonna end up dating, but you gotta give your boy a heads so up. Mike Stud also just got like. I want to say someone really close in his crew stole Damn. a shit, stole yeah, a his, shit uh, ton of money. One of his managers was stealing a bunch. Hopefully of money. that's not Johnny. It wasn't no. Johnny, but this is this kind of just begs the question: like, what is the time frame where it's acceptable, or is it ever acceptable I think you to got, date a friend's ex? Yeah, it is. I do. I do think it is acceptable because you can't deny pe- two people end up getting married. Like eventually, I have a, one of my best friends, two best friends in college, both dated the same girl. They were like three years in between. Like three years is not enough to you know what I mean. And when the first dated, they were eighteen to twenty one. Like that doesn't even count. You know what I mean? So. And then we, they started dating, they were like 24, like 27, you know what I mean? And they started getting married the second time. So, yeah, I think it's acceptable. You just got to have the conversation. Yeah. You can't, you can't text, you can't pick, like, if you're long distance, I guess, or whatever, pick up the phone. But, like, you have to have that conversation directly. I wonder if... Pro- uh, probably the earlier the better. Yeah, and I wonder if there's going to be anything coming out on, on the mic. Yeah, that's he has crazy. a podcast as well. That's I'm crazy. a big fan of, like, his kind of business savvy. He does, like, a... Almost like an only okay. fans version of music where he puts out his unreleased stuff and people pay him for it. So and Josie can say goes a smoke. Yeah, rocket. Can I see rocket. it? Yeah. Houston. Yeah, 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 yeah. Houston. Houston. We we have one. Let me uh, pull up our IG. Phil goes right to the computer. The guy's been in the corner for fucking forty minutes. Well, I don't. Dukes is on the mic. I don't want to push him out. Fair the enough. Line. Let's I, see this. You can just here. go to her. Just Google image her. Dukes has it. You see that? Uh yeah, rocket. Rocket, for sure, Rocket. Rocket. Obviously, fantastic. Houston. And so I think her mother's like a, a model. Yeah, and, and her rightfully dad's, so. And was like a takeo, obviously. So, you know, she had the genetic build to be smoking hot. Yeah. And maybe this, the athlete that could come out of that, though, all time. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, Bob, give me the final push. Well, we got to talk about the biggest story in college basketball yesterday. What's that? Bronny James, transfer portal. Yeah, I don't really get excited about guys. I feel like everyone's in the portal now. You're not trying to recruit him to one of your schools? I would. I think if he wants to win, he goes to Washington. But at this point, everybody's in the fucking portal. Like, I rather – I don't get excited when a guy hits the portal. Just tell me where they go. I, I, can't, get, I can't get worked up about it when we got a Final Four game going on. Uh, I, I just – I can't. I can't. Plus, guy, you got guys from, like, UTEP. They average 17 points. This guy, that guy. Everybody's in the fucking portal. Everybody. And none of it makes any sense. Like, John L. Davis, is he going to go to Michigan with Dusty May or is he going to go somewhere else? It's all – it would go play for your guy. None of it makes any sense. I can't get excited about it. Give me the final push. Okay, so final word is going to be a build off of the island movie idea. Right. But it's going to be five items that you would bring if you were stranded on an, on an island, non-food related, to aid in your survival or entertainment. But okay. you only have five things you can pick. Jesus Christ. A light? Okay. But Some kind of light? 
you probably want to get solar a powered charging flashlight. I think you need charges during the day. I don't know how that people are gonna get mad. Somehow where it charges during the day via solar. And then I can use it at night. Lights crank use. lights, whatever. So give me a crank light. Give me that. Um, I mean, a TV, but you would need outlets. That's not going to work. Yeah, I think you should move away from electric. Yeah, electricity's equipment. out. Like a, uh, think, like, like, a, like a cooler, maybe to store fish that you catch. Okay, but ice, you're not going to have a lot of ice, so I don't know how good a cooler is going to do you. You, you got to sleep. You got to you something know, to eat. Thing to, a something co to cooking, cooking. You're a good point. Cooking. Uh, so a pan. Okay. Well, I can make my own fire. Or figure out how to make my own fire. You a lighter would probably be easier too. Okay. Maybe a big lighter. Uh, sleeping bag. A pillow. That's good. I think we're at four. And a knife. I feel like. Gotta go hunting. Potentially. I think knife was good. I think w the lighter might be an ill choice. I think you want like flint. You're gonna have to try to figure out how to make fire the old-fashioned yeah. way. So maybe flint, uh, and you just get a rock and strike that Something. shit. Something. Knife is good. Um, I, I feel like maybe some rope could be good. Yeah, but you're looking at items like I'm not giving up the sleeping bag and the pillow. Unless you want to dig a hole in the sand and cover yourself with sand every night, and then just get that refreshing thing of jumping in the. Uh, in the ocean. Yeah, it might get the bra hole a little itchy. Yeah. Maybe that's the way to go. Like, you just. <laughs> do you take uh, some kind of anti jock itch cream? <laughs> just in case. I don't know if you even want to. Toothbrush? Work. Tooth. I don't know. There's a million different things. How long do you think you could last a week. before you start here? Suicide. 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 <laughs> Respectfully. A week. Max. I got suspended for less. <laughs> on a, we're doing a hypothetical on, a, I on, a, on I an I island. I was joking. I saw, I saw you stumble. A Can't bit. do it. Can't do it. Uh, all right. That's Healthy Debate. We'll see you from Phoenix on Monday. Roll Tide. Go Bama.